everyone. Uh, my name is Dr. Raniel Tambuli, and I, I'll be teaching you the last part of the nanotechnology um, course. The name of the course is Applications of Nanotechnology in the Field of Plant Production. Nanotechnology, um, different plant application, there, it's a wide it has a wide application in the field of agriculture, in particular the plant uh, plant field or the plant part of the agriculture um, practices. Um, nanotechnology has been emerged in several fields to solve um, different problems and um, to uh, utilize and uh, and manage. Uh, some problems that are originally found um, in the environment. Of course, uh, previous doctors, uh, Dr. Ahmed, uh, Dr. Jihan, and Dr. Dia spoke about the, the principles, the introduction. Um, so in my part, I'll be talking about the different applications and different uh, stages of the plant a production in agriculture. Uh, we're gonna, we will be talking about the seed storage, seed priming, germination, um, fertigation, and the, the fertilization and nano pesticide. Uh, I'm sure Dr. Jihan already covered this part. And we will have a part uh, on the post harvest application concerning the floriculture part. And also, um, we will having a part about the nanobiotechnology and the biosensors. As I mentioned, the use of nanotechnology in different stages of the agriculture uh, or different stages of plants, starting from the seed uh, till the post-harvest applications. Uh, for the seed stage, um, we have what's called seed priming. Seed priming is a pre-sowing treatment. It's a treatment where we um, adapt the seed or uh, put the seed in a in a position where it's gonna start to germinate. Uh, this physiological uh, process is very important because it can give the plant. Um, the, the higher quality or the higher efficiency of the plant um, to overcome certain stresses, uh, to grow in a very high quality, to give high yield, uh, good uh, food production. So uh, the treatment of the seed usually affect the plant and the plant growth. So priming is a, a, a stage before uh, before the seed germinates, which affect all the other processes after uh, followed by that, and give the plant the growth capacity to um, to fight against biotic and abiotic stresses. So um, time versus seed water content. Um, that's how they. Um, calculated the seed priming um, then we have primed seeds and non-primed seeds we have three phases first phase is called imbibition which represent the entry of the water in the seed and the seeds start to absorb this water and get it getting it passing the seed coat and getting it inside we have phase two uh, which is the activation where it initiate to have some physiological changes, some biochemical processes um, and changing it from uh, dehydrated hydrated seed to hydrated seeds. Um, it permits to control the induction, the pre-germination metabolism, the, the the metabolic uh, compounds found in inside the seed and then we have phase three which is displaying the germination and post germination phase so these are the three phases um, so they plotted these three phases as we can see so the first two phases they are reversible um, where we can still dry them the last phase 
the seed is gonna already start to initiate and elongate uh, so we have the unprimed and the primed uh, treatments it was found that these prime treatments enhance the quality of the plant so there are different there are six types of pre -treat priming treatments we call them we have the hydro priming that which is by water the osmo priming using uh, uh, osmotic osmotic uh, compounds we have the hormonal priming which we use hormones the halo priming and the chemical priming and bio priming chemical we use chemicals uh, bio priming we use organic substance the halo priming we use in organic salts so um, those are treatments that they found they can enhance the seed germination they can enhance the plant growth they can enhance a lot of um, stuff concerning the met the metabolism of the plant so so because this stage is really really important uh, so the nanotechnology got into this stage um, and there is what is called seed nano priming so the nano priming was um was produced to solve the issues with the seeds that can affect the germination and the plant growth very early where in where it's still very few cell numbers where it can affect the plant growth until the end of its um of its life so um so um the use of nanoparticles where it's, it's the the main tool in nanotechnology um, they use it to enhance the plant resistant to different biotic and abiotic stresses of course nano prime priming is uh, which has been discussed before the nanotechnology have certain issues where you get to have um, nano uh, toxicity we're going to talk about this later but uh, some nanoparticles have negative effect on the plant so experiments have been made to to test what type of nanoparticles should be used what concentration they should be used so that they don't uh, harm and toxify the plant um, so the application in this field that the nanoparticles can infil infiltrate and penetrate the coat of the seed and increase the water uptake and the nutrients um, and which is gonna enhance the germination and the growth of the plant because of the the plants are physiolo the plant species species are different in their physiological um, physiological uh, content so their uptake is going to different the so the type of the nanoparticle and the, the the amount and the concentration and the size of the particle is going to different from one species to another so what are the different types of nanoparticles that has been used and utilized in the seed priming process and what's their function so we have the silver nanoparticles which has been widely used in the plant field it protects the seed from bacteria and fungus which is a very uh, major problem in seed storage um, when you store the seeds that's number one enemy the fungus and the bacteria so they protect the seeds from those um, enemies we have the silica nanoparticles uh, which can deliver chemicals and DNA into the plant that enhance germination uh, including the radical height the plant dry weight the germination rate so uh, the silica is nanoparticle is a nanoparticle that help um, and enhance the plant from inside we have the iron nanoparticle which have a an important role in the germination and efficient growth of the plant when you increase the uh, the iron oxide nanoparticle it reduces iron deficiency and it 
Iron is a very important component of the chlorophyll, so it also increases the chlorophyll in the plant, which is very important later on for the photosynthesis and, the, and enhancing the quality of the plant. We have also titanium nanoparticles, which increase seed water absorption. Um, it, uh, it also can enhance and uh, boost the old seeds, give the old seed some push so that they uh, germinate and have the plant later on in the in a good quality. It also increases the formation of the chlorophyll, just like the iron nanoparticles, and it has so many um, important impact on the seed as well. So cases study some examples about seed priming and how it affected the, the plant. So a study has been made on seed prime on check B and they used iron, zinc, and calcium nanoparticles. They found a significant increase in the seed weight. So if we look at this figure here, we have 100 seed weight in a gram. And we have the three types of the nanoparticles and we have the controlled, the untreated one. We will find that the seed weight highly and significantly increased compared to the uh, to the control one, which also enhanced the, the grain yield. And later on, if we need to plant those seeds, it's going to give a high quality plant. Um, another case study, it was done on a plant called, called Caucasian elder. Um, under, this is the plant, how it looked like. It's a shrub. So under, is, stresses under environmental condition it was examined using the carbon nanotubes and they tested six different level and the stress was the drought stress they tested this plant for stress tolerance and how the nano uh, particles or the nanotechnology will enhance its tolerance to drought um, so after they incubate the, the seeds, uh, the results found that the tolerance to drought has been increased uh, using the, nano, uh, the carbon nanotubes um, at, the, at the concentration 100 milligram. And that's the purpose of doing different concentration, doing, using different sizes, different material to to give recommendation about the best uh, type of nanoparticles and the best uh, concentration to solve the problem.